Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to do a 10-minute breakdown of things going wrong inside your home. Wait, please take the time to hit that like button and subscribe button. That really helps grow the channel and you can catch our future content. Today on the 10 minute breakdown, we are gonna break down galvanized piping. What is it? Galvanized pipes are a water distribution system, an older water distribution system that supply water through your home. So the real question is, is when were they installed? They were installed as late as the 1880s all the way to the 1980s. So there's about a hundred year window of us using galvanized pipes. What did we use before galvanized pipes? Before galvanized pipes, we used lead pipes and we replaced them with galvanized pipes because the older pipes were too soft. They didn't know that the lead pipes were actually poisoning on that at the time, but with galvanized pipes, they used them because they were a harder, harder and more sturdier material. So the real question is, is what is this made of? It's a steel pipe dipped in boiling hot zinc to help protect it from corrosion doesn't seem to be working very well, does it? So what is causing these pipes to corrode that has this protective zinc coating on it? It's our water, the, the hard water, or also known as heavy mineral water, is reacting with the zinc, causing a buildup of plaque and rust inside of the pipe. So it's a reaction between the minerals in our water and the, the zinc coating. This reaction eventually causes extremely, extremely low water pressure, normally on the hot water, Water side of your properties and it causes your pipes to eventually develop these little pinholes and could eventually explode. The plaque buildup also causes your water to be unsafe to drink and eventually causes extreme discoloration across your water too as well. So you're not going to want to drink it either. You'll pour a glass of water and it will look like a rusty snot mess. Ew, gross. Well, how do you find out if your pipes are bad or not? Well, actually, it's really hard to tell if they're bad or not unless there is exposed damage because you can see on this side of the pipe, it looks perfectly okay. But on this side of the pipe, it doesn't. So the only way that you can really tell is through low water pressure at the fittings of your pipes and then also the rust like color that's happening through your property. Another thing is, is if you have galvanized water lines, it is very likely that you're going to have to replace them. They start going bad practically about after 50 years and we installed them a little over 50 years. So how do you find galvanized water lines? How do you know if you have galvanized water lines in your home or the home you're about to purchase? Well, the first thing is, is it looks like this. But if you do not know what this looks like or if you have trouble identifying this type of pipe, you can, it's the only pipe that is magnetic. You can take a magnet and throw it on to the pipe and if it sticks, you have galvanized water lines. So the best places to look for them are behind, underneath sinks, behind toilets, in the attic space. And if you don't like to go to any of those places, well, the water heater will be in your attic place, but the easiest place to spot it is on top of your water heater. What is your water heater connected to? And if it looks like this gray pipe, you might have galvanized water lines. So say this pipe is underneath a whole lot of insulation and your inspector can't see them or you can't identify where the problems are. Thermal imaging is another way that is a really good to pick up water leaks from these galvanized water lines. They these little pinholes eventually start to spray. And if you have immediate leak in your galvanized water lines and your home was freshly flipped, it'll show up as like a little blue circle on the ceiling. Not the best test, but it is one of the ways that you can catch water leaks from your galvanized water. So what is the solution to the problem with your galvanized water lines? How do you fix it? Well, the first thing is, is you have to replace all your pipes. That is the 100% way, way to remove all problems with galvanized water lines is just replace them. It's an old system and it is time for them to go. So say you don't have all the money or you don't want to tackle a project that big while sending pipes through walls. The other way is just to replace all the lines in the attic space. This is where most of the damage is caused with galvanized water lines and alleviates most of your water pressure issues inside your home. It's not a 100% fix. It is a temporary fix and you can still experience problems afterwards. Another repair is is called polymer injection. What they do is they get a polymer solution and they inject it through the pipe, which removes most of the rust-like 
particles or the plaque inside of your pipe and this will push it out clean out the pipe also create a hardened layer through the pipe and that will be another type of temporary fix for your galvanized water lines there's only a few plumbers that will do it and it is expensive to knock out too as well but that is also a temporary fix with normally about a 10 year lifespan or warranty with that type of polymer injection so what type of water pipe system should you choose to replace your galvanized water lines you have three choices your first choice is pvc pvc is pretty cheap um, but the problem is the same problem with copper water lines is it's pretty invasive to replace all the water line system the next one is copper it is extremely expensive to replace this but it is the most reliable we've been using copper water lines forever and they've been they last the longest i do know some other states have problems with water reacting with copper water lines but if you're in texas that i know of copper water lines are the best but it is extremely expensive and very evasive to replace throughout your structure the water line that i would recommend is pex PEX water lines is the cheapest and easiest pipe to, to maneuver through your structure and they can typically snake it through your walls and it's the least evasive and the least expensive to replace. From my understanding, this is the best water line system out right now, but what I like to say is right now because galvanized water lines was the best water line system at the time. So the last question is, should you be worried that you have galvanized water lines in your home or the home you're purchasing? This is a two part question, yes and no. I'm gonna go with no first. So if you're purchasing an older property, most older properties in the 80s and back have galvanized water lines. It was the cheapest water line system at the time and also the most durable water line system at the time. So a lot of our homes are built with it. If you are purchasing an older home and you understand that you're going to be tackling a home with issues, just budget to replace the galvanized water lines. They are going to go out. If you're a different type of home buyer or homeowner and you do and you want to move in ready, spick and span home, then I would say yes, you should be worried about purchasing a property with this. This is a pro this is a project. It is going to eventually break and it is going to eventually cause issues inside your home. So you want to be cautious whenever you're putting in an offer with galvanized water. Final question is, is how much does it cost to fix? Well, per square footage, it, it normally costs about $3.75 to replace. So depending on how big the project is or how little, it can go anywhere from $1,500 up to $15,000 to replace your galvanized water water lines. It depends on the size of the structure you have or you're going to purchase. So I recommend to call three different plumbers and out of these three different plumbers get three different quotes so you get a nice middle range of pricing to replace your plumbing. Never go with the cheapest quote because cheap labor also equals cheap work. So yes, you might replace with PEX water lines, but say they don't do all the joints and fittings wrong, you'll get a leak. There you go. Thanks for watching my 10 minute breakdown. I think these help. If you would like me to break down another system of your home that can cause problems, please drop it in the comment section and I'll do my best. And please always like and subscribe to help grow the YouTube channel. Thanks guys. Bye. <laughs> That was rough. That was rough.